It's this time of the year again, Halloween is over and people want Christmas decorations. This is the perfect time of the year to unload your Christmas items on the marketplace. Fear not, it's not too late. I've got a sled that you can make in an hour or two from free pallet wood or a 1x10 if you prefer to buy new materials. Here's how it's made. I printed and cut out templates for the parts. I found those on a website called FY Nest Designs. I'll leave a link in the description to their website. The templates work by giving you the detailed part and telling you how long the detail list parts are. Great little system. For the smaller parts, the template comes with half the part, which is mirrored onto the wood by flipping the piece over. Carefully cut the parts out on the bandsaw, or if you don't own one, with the jigsaw. This should be pretty quick, making this a very fast and profitable project if you can find the people to buy it. I love making stuff on the bandsaw. It's relaxing, feels creative, and I just find it perfectly imperfect at doing stuff, which I love. For the sanding, I don't go crazy. I make sure the edges are smooth and not sharp, and that my curves are nice. I do the flat faces, but just a quick pass. Make sure your curves are good. This is where it will ruin the look of your project if you don't. For the brown parts, I use a walnut colored stain, while for the red parts, I use a red apple colored paint. I assemble the sled with pre-drilled countersink holes and screws. I keep the two sides attached to the metal parts with clamps at the beginning and then it just holds itself together as you make it. I measure 6 inches from the back for those pieces. Make sure you're square too, not just at the same length.
Add two screws per side as such. This avoids any twist and makes the sled feel really solid. I then removed all the clamps, which aren't needed anymore, and set the top pieces. Align them so they arrive flush with the back of the bottom red skis. I set a little over a quarter inch between the parts. I'm taking my time and alternating between holes and screws to make sure everything ends up straight and parallel. Having proper looking decorations will make a huge difference when you're trying to sell them on the marketplace. To add the handles, I bought a quarter inch rope and I'm pre-drilling two quarter inch holes. I hold the rope with knots behind the footrests. Finally, I add a Christmas bow that I got at the dollar store. It comes with a twist wrap, so I just unscrewed one of the screws and had it go around that. All done. This is now ready to be sold on the marketplace, and I'm ready to make more. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more build videos, and see you next time.